All right, in this video, let's uh, go ahead and make a fun treasure chest, kind of a cartoon uh, treasure chest, maybe a, you know, for uh, like a game asset, maybe if it's for a, a pirate or uh, something like that. All right, so to uh, start, what I would like to do is go to my modeling um, tab and grab a box. Just drag the box in the center and kind of decide what my shape of the chest would be we can adjust it of course um, at any time and the uh, next step that i would like to do is uh, let's go ahead and grab maybe all of these sides here and i'm actually going to turn off my symmetry so essentially i just grab these uh, four sides and now what I would like to do, and you know what, I might, might as well grab the bottom one as well. And what I would like to do next is press press the extrude button, and then click on the scale at the end here. Turn off the keep faces together, and let's scale these in to something like this. And I think uh, I like that, but I really need to make sure that. Um, the width of these uh, this side and this side is about the same so what i would like to do is i'm just going to grab these guys here and grab my scale tool and just kind of scale them in i'm just going to eyeball it but make it about the same width of this and this so something like that i think is great and now what i'm going to do is hold down the shift key and let's go ahead and select the other two sides and now press extrude one more time and on our uh, blue arrow here I'm just going to kind of pull it in and that's going to be kind of the inset part of the uh, chest alright so next what I would like to do is let's turn on our wireframe so we can see our uh, topology and now maybe uh, let's create the top part which is going to be um, kind of a half of a cylinder right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my cylinder and just drag a cylinder right there on the ground maybe let's hold on the J key and flip it uh, 90 degrees and now what I would like to do I'm going to press spacebar to go into my side view here and just kind of position position the uh, cylinder right above and if I wanted to I can even turn on the x-ray so I could see the whole thing and let's go ahead and in every view kind of Put it in place um, in this view i can hold on the x key and just snap it make sure it's in the center and in this view let's go ahead and grab our scale and just kind of scale this out and maybe just go a little bit over the sides and i also would like to make sure that this guy is centered as well so in my top view i'm going to hold on the x key and just make sure it's uh, centered as well and now I can see that in the uh, in this view, um, this top part is kind of going over the edges. So I would like to do the same in this view as well. Just scale this out a little more. Okay. Uh, next, let's go ahead and um, go into our face mode in the side view. And let's delete all these uh, faces. We don't need them. I'm going to press delete key. So I have something like this. Now, if we uh, wanted to close that hole in there, let's go ahead and isolate it. And now let's just double click on this whole uh, edge. And next, we can either click on bridge and then we'll close the hole. Or um, another option is to fill hole under mesh. That's the same, pretty much the same thing, right? Uh, let's see so the next step is let's go ahead and uh, get out of the isolate mode and 
this time let's go ahead and insert the sides uh, just like we did kind of with this so I'm gonna grab maybe all of these faces here first I think so I'm just gonna hold on the shift key and manually select my um, sides and now I'm going to press the uh, extrude button and then let's click on this end and kind of scale this in. And now what I'm looking to do is I really need to make sure that the width of this bar on top is sort of the same as the width on the bottom. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to press uh, Control uh, Z to undo this. I'm going to go into this view here and this scale mode so you can see that it, it went in the center. But um, what I'm going to do now is just do one side at a time. First, I'm going to do this side and kind of decide what my thickness should be. And then do one this, this way. So it's just another way of scaling it. And I'm pretty happy with something like this. We can adjust it a little more if we uh, wanted to. But um, something like that should work. I'm going to press extrude one more time and just press it in. All right, and next I would like to do the same thing here. So I'm going to uh, select this face, then hold on the shift key, double click, to select all of these top faces and press extrude. And let's go ahead and this uh, press scale over here and just scale this in. And maybe up. And it's creating kind of this uh, interesting uh, angle and I kind of like that I think that looks actually really really cool so I'm happy with this I'm gonna press extrude and let's go ahead and push this in about the same distance as we've been doing on everywhere else some something like this should work all right so now if we wanted to we can maybe make this a little stronger. I would like to, this shape to be a little taller. So I'm going to actually bring it up a little bit. And if we uh, wanted to, we could also come back in this view. Let's turn on our X-ray. I mean our Y-frame and Looking at this side here, I would like this side to be a little thicker as well, so maybe something like that, so it's a little more consistent. Alright, so that's uh, that's pretty cool. Next, let's go ahead and add the, uh, the legs in the bottom. So the legs in the bottom are essentially just a, a box so I'm just gonna make a box and kind of scale it in like this um, come to uh, this view for example and just hold down the V key we could snap it right in the corner so that's another way of doing it let's press Control D hold down the V key and just snap it to this corner and let's do the same thing. Uh, I'm holding down the V, making sure that it's snapped. Let's do Control D, V, and snap it here. And do one more time, Control D, V, and snap it over here. All right, so the, these are sort of the four legs. And now we can adjust them because we know that they're uh, somewhat consistent as far as the location. So one way of doing it, there's probably a, a million different ways but I'm gonna grab these four legs and just combine them and switch to my verts mode and just select uh, both sides and then using the scale I can just scale them in and make them maybe a little skinnier do the same thing here I'm gonna grab this hold down shift select these and just scale these in as well so I think that's uh, pretty cool let's jump into our perspective view and take a look.
Now we can also, of course, uh, grab this and let's go ahead and extrude that up as well. Maybe that's not going to be seen, but I think uh, that's an important uh, detail. If we wanted to, we can also grab our legs and maybe move them up if it's a little, seems like it's a little too, too tall. All right. So right now, uh, as we're building this treasure chest, um, we are sort of keeping everything straight and even, right? Because we uh, will use uh, either soft select or our lettuce to create the uh, fun cartoony um, tapered effect. So keep that in mind. So right now we want to make sure everything is, is, is sort of uh, in alignment with, uh, with everything else. Uh, let's go ahead and press this Put this a little lower and the next step let's go ahead and create the uh, side handles right so the side handles uh, should be really really simple and to make those let's just simply grab a um, let's just grab a box and I'm just gonna drag a box right there And let's go ahead and maybe make it a little wider. And I'm going to jump on my top view, hold on the X key and just make sure that it's centered. And now what I would like to do is just simply put it in position. So something, something like that is pretty cool. We can, uh, of course, isolate it and go on this end. And we know that this is uh, will never be seen. So we can delete that back face. And let's go back out. Now we can select this. And let's just flip it to the other side. So to do that, um, I'm just going to go to Mesh and do a mirror. And there it is on the other side. All right. Uh, and now let's create. Uh, sort of like the um, the torus, like a donut for our handle. So to do that, I'm gonna make my donut our torus. Then go to let's go to um, the attribute editor, and maybe I'm okay with this being a little low resolution because I, I kind of want that look of the kind of a low poly look so you guys decide what works on your end uh, but something like this uh, i think is pretty cool let's go ahead and hold the j key to rotate it 90 degrees and just move it into position all right, so I'm going to go ahead and move this uh, in position. And now as I'm moving it, I'm realizing it that maybe uh, this is not a good alignment of like the topology. So I can actually adjust this on the fly and see what makes more sense. So maybe something like this or like this would actually make more sense. I'm going to go with nine. I think this is um, what I was sort of looking for. I can make this a little skinnier and maybe a little larger. And let's go ahead and again jump in our top view, hold on, uh, press the X ray button, hold on the X key, and I just want to make sure that I snap it in the middle of this uh, grid here. Go back into my perspective view, and now I can just kind of make sure that it's maybe a little bit out, so maybe something like this. And now what I could do is I can adjust this box. And you know, I'm just realizing uh, I'm going to delete this on this end and just flip both of them at the same time. So let's go ahead and, and make sure this uh, handle kind of makes sense, right? So what I would like to do is have, um, you know, because this is not going to be animated or um, it's not actually going to be rotated or change positions, I'm actually going to delete this. And let's make a handle out of this part here. I think that would make more sense. 
and it would look a little more custom. So I'm going to click on this, double click on this, and just simply do extrude and push this out. And I think that is what I was sort of looking for. I think this is a, a little better. Uh, let's go ahead and select this and go to isolate. And now we can maybe click on this face here and let's just move it into the box a little more and then press delete because we don't need that face, right? I'm going to uh, get rid of my isolate and just take a look. I think that looks pretty cool. And now uh, all I need to do is just uh, select this and let's go ahead and do a mesh mirror and just simply flip it to the other side. So now we have both of them on both sides. Now keep in mind, uh, if you look here, you can see that your Z is in front and X is in the side. So I know that this is the front of my uh, chest and that's sort of uh, important to keep an eye. Now my uh, outliner is getting, getting out of control with all the uh, things. So I'm just gonna select everything I have here and just do a edit, delete, all by type history. Just clean this up a little bit. And when we can clean it up uh, even more in a minute. We can combine this. Um, I don't know on your end if you uh, will want to open it or not, but for now I'm just going to leave it as two pieces. Um, let's go ahead and now since we know uh, Z is the front, let's create some sort of a lock um, for this. So maybe one of the things that we could do is uh, let's add a box and maybe kind of flatten it out and maybe let's delete this face here uh, we could go to the top view or we could just do it here just hold on the x key and just snap it make sure it's in the center and now i'm just going to kind of move it in and all I'm trying to create is some kind of a um, some kind of thing here where he can uh, the the chest can lock itself, right? So maybe it has like a maybe something like this. And if we wanted to, we can grab this guy here and move it up. So I'm trying to figure out where I want it to end. Maybe, maybe this uh, will work. Okay. And now um, what I would like to do is let's actually build some kind of a lock. So let's grab another box. And maybe the lock could be just kind of decide what the thickness should be doesn't really matter right now. Uh, let's go ahead and hold on the X key, just make sure that it's centered. And let's put our lock maybe something like this, but uh, this is definitely not looking uh, interesting at all. So one of the things we could do is maybe let's take the stop face and change its shape. I'm going to uh, press extrude and maybe pull this up a little bit. And let's go ahead and maybe scale it in. So it looks a little more uh, more interesting. All right. I think that looks uh, really nice. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on our ambient occlusion so we can see some shadows. If we needed to, we can also go to lighting or uh, let's see, render settings, and we could change the ambient occlusion uh, intensity so it's a little darker. So maybe even change the radius so we can kind of see some of this 
pop out. Okay, so I think that looks really nice. Let's go ahead and grab this face here and do another extrude. Just kind of extrude this in and I'm not happy with that. So I'm gonna click on this scale to reset my uh, axes and just kind of pull it in because I need it to be even on all the sides. I'm gonna press extrude to extrude this out. And this is, could be like the part where the keyhole is, right? So now we just have to figure out how we can make a keyhole inside of it. We can of course do it with textures and maybe a normal map, but I think it would be uh, a lot more interesting if this was an actual key. So let's attempt to do that. Um, maybe scale that in and I'm going to switch to this and just kind of bring this down. If we wanted to, we can put it higher or lower wherever we want the key to be. I'm thinking something like that. All right. That's next. Uh, let's go ahead and What I would like to be to do is I need to create uh, another cut that uh, makes sense as far as drawing out a key. So I think I'm going to do this with uh, edges. I'm going to insert an edge, and let's go ahead and do a uh, just one relative distance. And I would like to have an edge maybe somewhere in here. And. Technically now, if I have this and this, this could be almost what I'm looking for, right? So before, um, so essentially what I'm what I'm trying to say is if I push this in, this could be kind of my uh, keyhole, and maybe it's a little too crazy. So maybe we can grab this guy and this guy and just pull them in a little and maybe if we wanted to we can grab these two and pull them in as well create kind of a more a better shape yeah so i think this works it's kind of cartoony so i i'm okay with this being uh relatively large and uh the other thing that we could do is to kind of avoid things looking too boring, uh, we could maybe scale this in or out, maybe a little in like that. I think that's maybe even do, just play with shapes and see what looks good. But in my opinion, this is a little more interesting than just simply having a straight box. I know we're gonna uh, taper it in a minute, but uh, still this, this looks a little more uh, interesting and if we wanted to add more deep detail we could do that too we could maybe uh, extrude this face and just do some kind of a design in there push this in so you can quickly uh, you know create so like if you bring this in stop suspender all of these so like this here and you know this part this all would be wood right you would just assign a wood texture to this and i'm thinking all of these would be kind of a ancient beat up uh, metal i think that would look really really cool um all right so i'm happy with this the other thing that i think it needs is maybe let's connect this lock part with the top a little more so I'm going to click on this uh, top here and let's go ahead and go back into insert edge loops and I'm going to do equal distance or let's do multiple and let's put uh, let's put three in and see what if that would work for us. I would actually like to do let's do five. Um, we do need edges for to create, uh, and I'm not 
sure why this is happening. Um, we do need some edges to create the bend that we're going to do in a minute. So this is, I think this this is good. I like five. Uh, and now what I would like to do is I'm going to select this and this. Or what I meant to do is I'm having a hard time. So I'm going to click on this guy, isolate it. And essentially I'm trying to get this face here and go on this side. And why is it not working? Uh, yeah, like that. And I guess I'm, I'm going to go in sections. So I'm trying to grab these faces here. And now if I un get out of the isolation mode, I can extrude them. And essentially what I'm trying to do is integrate this top part more into kind of the lock. So it looks a little more like they belong together, right? I think uh, something like that is really cool. I'm not sure if I like how this, what's happening here. So maybe we can adjust this. Uh, let's just simply pull this up. This is going to be the back, right? The back of our chest. And it seems to be working on this end. Okay, so that looks really cool. Now, uh, one other thing that I would, I could suggest that it's totally up to you guys. Um, if you wanted to, you could insert a bunch of edges to create, maybe you want to avoid some of these really, really sharp uh, corners, right? So maybe we can select some of these edges here. It's kind of going around and maybe even grab this. Holding on the shift, just double clicking. Maybe even grab all of these. So I'm just looking at all the edges on the top that I don't want to be sharp uh, to avoid like this really uh, sharp uh, look. So another thing we could do is hold on a shift, maybe click on this and let's do this as well. All right. And now what we could do is let's go ahead and see what happens if we uh, click on bevel. Um, you can see that it's creating kind of a softer look, right? So I'm even happy with the 0.5. And I think it's a little interesting, a little more, um, even more cartoony, right? So I'm going to even just go with the default 0.5 on my end. And of course, we could do the same thing here and even here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to uh, actually go into isolation mode and just grab all of these edges at the same time and just make our job easy. Just click bevel and maybe change this to like something really small, maybe point. Uh, I want to see what point two looks like point two. Yeah, I'm happy with point two. I think I like that. Let's go ahead jump out of the isolation mode. I think that looks good. Now let's select our box and isolate that. And again, we can do the same thing. Let's grab all the edges. No, I don't want all the edges because there's some edges that are connecting other edges. So let's just get the outside. I don't really need the inside to be beveled. So just maybe go around and select kind of the outer part, like the window part, just the external part, all the way on, on all the sides. And let's go ahead and do the same thing kind of up here and also maybe down here. Well, might as well do this as well. Just grab the outside. Okay. So you see, so you see what I did. I just kind of, grabbed all the outside edges and then the top and the bottom. All right. And now I'm just going to click bevel and 0.5. Um, yeah, I think that works. Let's go ahead and jump out and see what it looks like. I think that looks really, really nice. Let's go ahead and grab this guy and do the same thing. I'm just going to do just the front, I think face and maybe might as well do this too. Let's do a bevel 
and I'm going to go with 0.3 on my end. I would like to also do the same thing with this. I believe uh, that could help us as well. Let's grab just kind of maybe these sharp outside edges and maybe do the lock as well. And I'm going to bevel it. Very cool. Um, maybe let's see how this looks here. I'm not even sure if this is going to work, but let's just check it out. Yeah, I think that works as well. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with the 0.3. I like that. Let's go ahead and get out of the isolation mode. So you can see how it quickly becomes a lot more interesting, right? I know that we left these corners not um, beveled, but I'm, I'm okay with that. You can, of course, bevel these corners as well. They kind of seem a little sharp, but I think this works. All right. If we wanted to, we can make sure that this is sort of, you know, touching the top, right? So you don't maybe don't want to have a space there. And the other thing that we need to do as our uh, last uh, step is let's go ahead and create kind of a tapered uh, effect. And to do that, I believe I need a little, a few more edges on this here. So let's go ahead and go into isolation mode. Let's go into insert edge loops and let's try five. I think that's, that should work. We could do five this way, and if we wanted to, we can um, repeat it on this side as well. So maybe this way, maybe I don't want five, maybe I'll do three. Just break the, the box off a little bit. It's still incredibly low poly. Uh, at this point, the whole thing is only 969 faces, so this is uh, very low, right? And uh, we can break it up more, but let's see. Uh, let's see if this this is enough. So maybe um, I'm actually going to combine mine. I don't really need it to to open it. If you want to open it on your end, just make sure that your pivot press um, on your move tool, and then hold on the D key, and then hold on the V key, and just kind of snap this to the end. And now if you grab the rotation tool, you can kind of open this and close this. And then of course, if you want to open it, you would have to, um, you know, extrude kind of the top and the bottom or, you know, make the box, maybe throw some coins in there. I'm, I actually don't need to do that. I'm just kind of making kind of a prop, but that's how you would do it. You can even animate it. It's kind of cool. Uh, if you do animate it, uh, I would definitely suggest to connect this and this together, right? So they, they would actually go, well, they would actually, this would move up with the top, right? That would be my, my uh, suggestion, obviously. So it makes uh, makes sense. All right, so uh, as our very last step, I'm just going to actually combine this entire box, this whole chest, and I'm going to clear my history delete history so as you can see I'm literally left with just one cube and I don't even need this group here I'm gonna press delete so I just have one thing I'm gonna call it treasure chest and uh, now if we wanted to we can uh, make sure you do control s save your work all right so now let's go to uh, modeling let's go to deform lettuce let's look at the options Mine are set to four, four, four. Uh, let's see what that looks like. I'm gonna say create. And now what I would like to do is switch to lettuce points by just right clicking. Let's go ahead and grab these top faces here and using the move tool, let's just simply push this whole thing down as much as you uh, like. Maybe let's grab some of these points 
and pull this up just a little bit. And if we wanted to, we can grab this whole entire top section, grab our scale tool and maybe scale this out. Just create kind of an interesting bend. And then you can decide if you want to grab these and maybe puff this up a little or push it in probably just a little bit. You don't want to distort some of the uh, modeling we did. And maybe this is a little too low. All right, I think, uh, I think that looks really cool. If you want to get rid of the uh, lettuce and you're done with it, you just go to, and you can see in the outliner, you have all this stuff here, right? So you can go to edit, delete by type history, and you can see that gets rid of it. And, and now the, the shape is sort of a, kind of a baked in, right? So that, uh, I think concludes this tutorial. I just wanted to show you uh, a fun, quick way to model a treasure chest. Now you can, of course, move forward with uh, UVs and bring into Substance Painter for uh, some more fun. Uh, if somebody out there wants to see how I would UV this, just let me know and I could, uh, I could do a video on that as well. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video.